In Good Shape, your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. I'm now joined in the studio by Dr. Oliver Peters, who has done a lot of research on Alzheimer's and dementia. Hello, Dr. Peters, and welcome to the studio. Uh, the patient we just saw in the report was very young. She was in her mid-50s, I, I think, and when she was diagnosed. Is this a normal age uh, with getting Alzheimer's? No, this is not the normal age. Uh, this is not the normal age for uh, uh, getting demented. Maybe you have the disease already in the mid-50s, but uh, normally you will get dementia later on in the 60s, mid-60s. And, and, and some people are just kind of scatterbrained or forgetful. So how do you as a doctor know when something is more serious going on inside the brain? If memory uh, problems persist uh, for longer than months, let's say for, for half a year, and uh, there is another one you can, uh, um, who is also observing that you have memory problems, you should ask your doctor, your physician, if you should go to a memory department or to the memory clinic to, um, to do some uh, um, more examinations and to clear or well, make, make sure if uh, there's something behind. Mm. So we all know the situations when you meet some person and you don't remember the name and oh gosh, who is this? Um, so this is quite normal, but when you don't uh, realize that you know, know this person, then it's more serious. It's not specific if you uh, cannot uh, find something or if you forget something. Only if it persists for a longer uh, time period, then you should think about it. What happens in the brain of an Alzheimer patient? What we know of Alzheimer's disease today is that there are proteins who build up plaques and these plaques uh, cause neurodegeneration. And uh, this is but probably only one part of the disease, so there are, should be other parts that we do not know today. And, and Alzheimer's disease is just one part of diseases which, is, which are called, uh, known as dementia. Um, there's something like thyroid dysfunction or depression which can cause dementia. So how do you distinguish between the forms of dementia? True, there are uh, other reasons for dementia. Thyroid dysfunction is a very rare um, cause for, for dementia, but you have to exclude uh, the other reasons before you can diagnose Alzheimer's disease. And why is it so important to diagnose Alzheimer's at an early stage? Because uh, the treatment uh, is easier uh, at early stages and there are drugs that can be given and they improve the abilities of the patients. Mm -hmm. Researchers say that there are signs in the brain of the patients, of an Alzheimer's patients, uh, that occur 10 years before there are any symptoms. Is this uh, an important thing to start treatment, if you would be able to, to see those um, alterations in the brain? Until now, we uh, only have drugs that are symptomatic, so they are given if there are symptoms. But um, we know that the disease starts probably 10 up to 15 years before. And in the future, we want to treat the disease before the symptoms occur. This is why we are looking for this kind of uh, reason with perhaps better results. Um, we got a, a viewer question from Russia. Lebedev Bukashkin from Russia has a mother who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and he now wants to know, is there a big, big risk for him to develop Alzheimer's himself? It's not a big risk, but the risk is a little bit enhanced compared to the uh, normal, uh, to, to a person who has no Alzheimer's in the, in the family. Wait and drink some coffee, good idea. But does coffee help against Alzheimer's? What do you think? Coffee um, and caffeine uh, enhances attention, so this might help in some tasks, but it's not specific for memory loss. So, yes, um, it helps for for some tasks, but it's not specific. It's not a specific treatment for Alzheimer's disease. So, so as you don't um, use coffee in treating Alzheimer's patients, you uh, certainly use medications, but they are they're not able to cure the disease. So, how do you treat your patients currently? There are drugs that are um, prescribed, that can be described and that uh, should be described. Uh, they are specific for the disease and there are um, some, um, yeah, they improve memory deficits specifically. 
And, and, and how do these medications alter the cause of the disease? They do not alter the cause of the disease. This, this is a problem uh, that we cannot alter the cause because uh, this has not been established up to now. So, so what else can you do in, in treating? I mean, like a, like a workout, is it good for patients to work out? Um, we do not know much about that. Um, for sure, apathy, uh, so to, to do nothing, is uh, extremely dangerous, so to say. Um, and this is a problem for a lot of patients that they uh, do not go out anymore, that they uh, do not have contact. They, um, yeah, this is a problem for, for a lot of patients and they should stay in social contacts to, uh, not to uh, enhance the disease. One very new idea is to treat Alzheimer's with antibodies. So it's like a vaccination. Is it a very promising approach? This is a, an approach that tries to remove this uh, plaques, this protein plaques from the brain. And uh, we believe that this could stop the neurodegeneration, but nobody has proven this up to now. Uh, we got a viewer question from Brazil. Vitoria Epaminondas wants to know if brain jogging can protect you from Alzheimer's. So keep your brain at work. You should keep your brain at work, uh, that's for sure. Uh, you don't have to do uh, specialized brain jogging. Just do what you are normally doing, read a book, uh, do, your uh, do your normal things uh, that uh, might also be helpful. And what about food supplements? Janaki Najiya saw a report in the newspaper that food supplements can be helpful in dementia and Alzheimer's. There is no proof that uh, supplements are helpful by itself. There, if you have a malnutrition syndrome, uh, if, you are, if there is a lack of uh, something that you can uh, um, replace, then uh, this might be helpful, but it's not uh, for everyone. So it's not proven. And can you prevent Alzheimer's with a certain lifestyle choice? Um, you, as, as we said, um, to stay active right. uh, might prolong the time that you don't have problems, but uh, it cannot prevent Alzheimer's at all. And given all the antibodies, therapies, vaccination against all the new research, what do you think? Can Alzheimer be a curable disease in the foreseeable future, within the next years perhaps? Uh, not within the next years, but probably in 10 years. This is uh, possible. So fingers crossed then. Dr. Peters, thanks so much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you.